Hello and welcome to Hall 1 of the Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre. This is day two of the Kyurugi in the Taekwondo as the sport continues at the 2017 Sea Games. The 29 Sea Games has had a fair amount of success in the Taekwondo competition. It's been a, a uh, well attended venue and certainly the competitors are all looking forward to their various semi-finals and hopefully finals as well. Uh, there is going to be some heartbreak on the mat today. The octagon that awaits for competitors in these categories. The women's under 46 kilogram, the men's under 54 kilogram, and the women's under 40... Well, it's uh, the women's under 53 that will be of, uh, the final of. After the men's under 54 kilogram, the women's under... <laughs> 54, 46, and 53. It's the men's, women's, women's. Yes, indeed. So, the victory ceremonies will take place after the conclusion of the Taekwondo competitions. There have been a few issues with the scoring system, with the sensors and the padding and the helmets of the various competitors, but those hopefully have been ironed out following a full day of competition and indeed some stern overnight work. And while there is a a sense of the Malaysian Tigers about the Vietnamese contingent have uh, some colourful characters of their own. Uh, a section for athletes and coaches to enjoy what has been a very intense competition of Taekwondo. The Kyurugi is the sparring aspect of the Taekwondo competition. The poem say is there more athletes that present patterns, it's non-combative. This is the sparring section of uh, the Taekwondo competition, as also the more familiar of the traditional Korean martial arts, which has become a genuinely international sport, although only really in the last 30, 40 years started to come into its own in terms of international competition. A, Korean words or that effectively translates to by way of kicking and punching is Taekwondo and indeed a sport that allows competitors to punch and kick although the bread and butter moves of Taekwondo are all about the kicks roundhouse kicks in particular around 80% of all the kicks that are produced in Taekwondo are roundhouse kicks so female Semi-final times. With category under 46, Dina Kijana Parisan in blue. From Indonesia. So an opportunity for the lightest of the female competitors to continue in their competition. Competitor from Indonesia. We'll be taking on a Thai opponent in this uh, first semi final of the women's under 46 kilogram category. Thai fighter in uh, the red corner. Coaches with their demarcated positions. instructions to competitors ahead of the start. The referee. A host of judges and uh, referees that sit around the mat. The corner judges. There's a doctor on call, a recorder as well that keeps record of all the points and the penalties awarded to each competitor by the uh, referee and the judges. for 
It is a fairly spectacular combat sport between two opponents in sparring contests. The Kurogi semi finals getting underway with this women's under 46 kilogram event. So just testing that the scoring system is working. So a hardware test as it's termed, body and head sensors are working for all competitors. This is how they test the sensors. And eventually it's registering, despite the sensors in the socks. So the women's under 46 kilogram semi-final getting underway now. The two of the Kurogi. In this combat sport, just to confirm the op opponents, Fazrin of Indonesia in the blue, Julianan Kantikulanon of Thailand in red. Going for an early score, but there's a message, an error message on the scoreboard. So uh, a little break here. The error message coming up saying that a, the scoring system has been disconnected. So just checking the battery packs. Competitors back underway. Scoring system sorted out. Searching for the opening score with a three pointer kick to the head. Not having it registered though, didn't quite make contact. So any contact with the competitor's head or face is automatically a three point score. Looking for the two point score, going for the body. And trying to kick the trunk or the hogu. Again, there's an error message that's appeared on the electronic scoreboard. Network error. Just trying to reset the electronics, it seems. So it has been disruptive to the athletes and competitors. That looked like a uh, a little bit of a better attempt to go with a push kick. No scores haven't been registered as yet, and there must be a little concern about... Well, there's eventually a score for the Indonesian. Fazin, contact to the trunk, so... First score, a little faint, trying to push her opponent across the boundary line here. And indeed, a penalty point has been awarded to the Thai athlete, so... Kantikulanon has her first points of this fight. It's come as a penalty after getting her opponent to go beyond the octagon. So a third stoppage already in this opening round. Trying to go for the higher kick. Just trying to work... Uh, Another kick towards the face of her opponent, not registering, not quite getting there. Again, both of these competitors going for the high kicks, trying to score with the higher scoring points values by going for the face. But there's some bread and butter points to go for with a few roundhouse kicks to the trunk that can just extend an advantage. They pile up, do the points. And approaching the end of the opening round. And that's where it'll end. Two to one, Indonesia over Thailand in this first of the semi-finals in the women's under 46 kilogram weight division. So a few breaks and unplanned stoppages for the competitors with the sensors and the equipment not entirely 100% functional. Good blocking though. 
my competitor not landing that kick with enough force and the other kick ending up having her knee connecting with her opponent's protective gear can only score with clean contact with the feet and when you're scoring with a punch as well going for the trunk only with the flat knuckles full force of the flat knuckles there's a certain amount of force that needs to be exerted on the pressure pads and what is the protective gear so these fully padded competitors already second round underway going in blue for Indonesia Fazrin up against Thailand's Kantikulanon just some sliding movements here flurry of kicks attempted but all been cut out there's big connections with the legs as well so they're cutting out each other's moves inadvertently here by trying to go in for the attacks it's a better attempt from Plantikulanon trying to go in for the punch because you can score even if it's only a point with a punch trying with the axe kick comes down hard and this will get us something if not a little bit of confidence and while it's not scoring she's forcing her opponent back and you want to be full press on your opponent just put them under pressure camp in their territory as it were the yeah, Titania Fazring 19 years old of Indonesia currently leading fights in the blue against Thailand's Kantikulanon no score is yet in this third quarter but there is a score finally connection with the pad of the Indonesian and Kantikulanon gets the opening points of the second round with a, a blow to the midriff of her opponent at the very end of this second round closing stages a little scramble here Late opportunity to garner some points heading into the third and final round. Three rounds of two minutes each. It'll be contested between the fighters in the respective categories. And that's the Kyurogi. The combat section. So a late charge to their corners. to score with the axe kick with the arm up a good block another block as well for the Indonesian Fazrin trying to keep her opponent at bay one another out with those kicks So third and final round to get underway. Trying to go for the head again. Success for Kunti Kulanon. A partial success on the silver medal at the Asian Junior Championships in Kazakhstan earlier this year so it comes into this tournament high on confidence following that performance but oh opponent down to the ground so one penalty point and what is a very tightly contested affair Kanti Kulanon Ghana's a penalty point so she's two in front Indonesian Fazrin still only 19 years old herself against a 17 year old opponent fresh from that silver at the Asian Junior Championships only a minute odd remaining in this third and final round. These two squaring off against one another. Oh, better from the 
Thai fighter, the competitor, scoring with another two blows twice now. That's a third effort into the pads, and again, it is Kante Kulanon who is beginning to pull away. It was a very closely contested bout with the Indonesian fighter Fazrin leading two to one until the final few seconds of the second round. All of a sudden, Kante Kulanon is coming to her own in this third and showing some of the class that took her to the final of the. Asian Junior Championships earlier this year. Going for a strike to the head, claims the three points for the kick. Nice left foot turn around and slap on the side of the head. The heel of her foot. Oh, another big scoring blow. Lovely. Power under the armpit. And settling herself. Great counter attack. Cuts out her opponent's move again and then goes in for a strike that, although it didn't score, was, uh, I know the display of her power. The Indonesian loses out. Fazrin, Bajulanan, Kantikulanan marches on to the final victory in this semi final. Kantikulanan, Kantikulanan of Thailand through to the final in the women's under 46 kilogram weight class. Right at the very start was just getting defensive and then a flurry of kicks that proved successful. Her opponent down to ground, collected a penalty point and from there on just pressed on. Just on that initial attempt. Some great scoring blows though. The Thailand expecting some success in this session of the Taekwondo Kyurogi. future Taekwondo champions. Well, the venue almost packed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before the game start, can you off your Hi-Fi, Hotspot, Wi-Fi, or whatever aid that you have flashing people and disturbing the fighters and also the electronic system. Thank you. Contest between Timor Leste and Vietnam. Sonia Martin Suarez. Nineteen-year-old from Timor Leste. Takes on An opponent from Vietnam. Vietnam's success has been fairly solid throughout Taekwondo competitions and Southeast Asian Games down the years. Proud record to live up to. So a 
tough ask for the 19-year-old from Timor-Leste as she takes on the defending champion, Trung Thi Kim Tuyen of Vietnam. So testing the sensors before the fight gets underway. <laughs> so all seems to be working, all set to go. First round of three underway in this women's under 46 kilogram semi final. Sonia Martin Suarez of Timor Leste goes up against Strong T. Kim Tuyen, the defending champion. Early chance to settle. The Vietnamese fighter in the red. Just uh, leading with her left. Well, the Timor Leste fighter with a and left back, more of a southpaw stance. Left is back, leading with her right. Trying to find an opening score here. Certainly a reach advantage for the taller defending champion. So, penalty point awarded to the Vietnamese fighter as her opponent steps across the boundary line. So, first score is from a penalty point. He's not landing with any power on the pad. Trying to get the Kick into the midriff. Isn't going for the higher efforts here, just trying to score with efforts to the trunk. The Vietnamese fighter just trying to overpower her opponent as well. So, not a huge amount of intensity and aggression, not in the early stages. There looked to be some full pressing from the Vietnamese fighter in the opening few seconds which caused of course the penalty point to be awarded as Sonia Martin Suarez of Timor Leste just crossed that boundary line so eventually a score is registered with a kick against the trunk not really trying any other tactics here this has not been a very tactical match athletes and competitors they'll all have their own strategies to try to win rounds and the end of the opening round no points for the Timor Leste fighter but Trong Thi Kim Tien not exactly dominating the way she usually does Second round of three in the women's under 46 kilogram semi-final. A little more attacking intent now from the smaller in stature of the two athletes. Competitor from Timor Leste going in fiercely and looking for the first score of this contest. The defending champion from Vietnam. It's been a bit of a struggle for her in, in recent times, although it did win the Kazakhstan Open earlier this year and did claim a silver at the World Championships in this category. Oh, it looked like a fine kick to the head and indeed a kick to the head and then a body blow which registers five points in quick succession and she'll get a penalty point here. 
So the Vietnamese fighter has extended her advantage from three to uh, nine in double quick time. Fine kick to the head and then to the trunk. Wonderful combination and a flurry of attacks. Less intensity now from the Timur Lest fighter Martins. Another scoring blow into double figures goes Trung of Vietnam. So time out here for a sensor error. Is the confirmation sensor error? So it seems the sensor error is self-corrected. The fighters can get back underway. It does seem to be a bit of a psychological upper hand. That was registered very early on in this contest and certainly again early on in the second round good power from the Vietnamese competitor this time though nearly puts herself on the back and the referee just trying to get these uh, contestants to get a little more involved in the combating problem here Sensor errors being registered. <laughs> Searching for more scoring. She's a little more active. She needs to get more into this. Trying to give herself a, a good chance. Of getting into a bit of a stride. With some wonderful back end speed and some good final big pushes from the Thai fighter, Julian Kantikulanon, who advanced to the final after a victory in the semi final over Dian Titana, Titania Fazrin of Indonesia, who Trong has actually beaten on a couple of occasions this year indeed the world championships actually met her in an earlier round contest and indeed Fort Fazerin as well at the uh, Kazakhstan Open but Kant Kulanon a little bit of a more unfamiliar opponent for Trung of Vietnam again just working on the sensory equipment so these pads the protective body where that the competitors wear a hogu as it's called the protective padding or armor is filled with sensors that pick up strikes different calibrations of of uh, the sensors fighters also wearing special sensor socks so that their kicks to their opponent's body protector are recorded but only if they are executed with sufficient force and that's calibrated differently based on the gender and weight divisions so in the heavyweight men for example it'll be a force that is required to be far stronger than in the featherweight female division women's division just waiting for the headgear to be reset Well, it's detracted from the quality of the Taekwondo competition, this continual issue. There's a, a look at the battery pack that operates the sensors. That are present in the headgear and in the protective body armor. The blows to that body armor and the blows to the head count need sufficient force to the body armor any blow to the head or face automatically scores three points for a uh, kick can't punch your opponent in the head but you can score with a punch to the body four points though the maximum for a spinning kick to the head which uh, we've not yet seen from uh, any women's fighters in this competition 
So, the end of the round. Now the dominant round for the Vietnamese defending champion. The 46 kilogram semi final third round of three is underway. Fighter in blue from Timor Leste taking on the defending champion from Vietnam. And again, under a great deal of pressure. And it was a study conducted a few years ago after uh, the Taekwondo competition at the Asian Games. And the study in the early part, certainly, of the Millennium confirmed as the Timor Leste opponent down to ground. The penalty point awarded to the Vietnamese fighter Trung. But the study concluded that the medalists had a few things in common. They were taller in stature, they had longer limbs, and they had a lower body mass index. Which seems fairly logical in Taekwondo, but you cannot. Overstate the importance of uh, reach in this Taekwondo contest. In combination, though, there is a significant biomechanical advantage for the taller athletes who have those three features taller stature, longer limbs, and lower body mass index. So, you have to register a point, the athlete from Timor Leste. Again, just a little bit of power coming in, but uh, a little low to score. Trying to go on the counter-attack here. He's just keeping her opponent at bay, looking to score with a kick to the back. A little hook around, almost a scorpion-type kick. So some athletic ability on display, but again down. And another... Penalty point conceded by Sonia Martin Suarez. So, fairly dominant display. Another penalty point. Almost completely. This. Well, again, she's really not getting her balance right. She's finding herself being knocked off her feet with regularity here, despite the fact that she's putting in the blocks. The sheer power of the Vietnamese fighter is taking her down onto the mat. Far too stationary, not at all mobile. There's a Timor Leste fighter. And the scoring blow and a penalty point, so 19 to nothing. Looks like a clear and fair punch to the body armor. But not registering as a point, nearly over the boundary rope again. Okay, that looked to be a fair score with some good contact to the body armor. We're trying to score with a kick to the head, but losing her balance instead. So one, one penalty point. Timor Leste fighter is on the scoreboard in the closing seconds of this fight. Another penalty point awarded here to the Vietnamese fighter. So it'll be a fairly consummate victory for the defending champion who will face Thailand's 
Antikulinov in the final. 19 to 1. She marches on to the gold medal bout. Plenty of force, plenty of power, and a real air of dominance about her game. Not nearly enough power from the Timor-Leste athlete. Who's being chased around, landing a couple of kicks as well. Tunti Kim Tien. Well, she struggled to find points in the opening round. She was dominant in the next two and marches on to the final. Ladies and gentlemen, 006 semi-finals open. Under 54, in blue we have Under 46 category is done. We move on now to the men's under 54 kilogram weight class. The athletes just being asked to wait. Vietnam, 20-year-old, celebrating a birthday today as he moves out of his teenage years. Can he give himself a birthday present here? Athletes just testing the equipment again. The hardware test. It's under 54 kilogram weight division. So Lintet of Myanmar taking in Vok Kwok Hong. Oh, it looked to be uh, some good power, but eventually cut out by the Vietnamese fighter who is in red. Oh, already down. Penalty point will be awarded here to Zolin Tet. First up, so it's on the scoreboard. 
trying to attack. So finders are going in here for the Mondale's kicks, just trying to find the arbor. There's an attempted axe kick as well from the Myanmar fighter. Just 18 years old, learning his trade. So penalty point deducted after a quick score from Volkov Hung and suddenly he finds himself too clear. Not an overly aggressive start for either one of these two competitors. Staring one another down. Timing really is critical here. Trying to maintain balance, trying to maintain focus as well. Ultimately though, it's about claiming the greater number of points at the end of the opening round. It's the Vietnamese fighter Vok Vok Hong. After uh, conceding a penalty point very early on, finds himself coming back with two fine scores kicks to the trunk of his opponent and indeed finding himself with a penalty point back in his favor as well so five to one the fighter in red leads Dead. In the blue for Myanmar, taking on Vok Vok Hong of Vietnam. Second round of three. Underway. The Vietnamese fighter in the red is moved by four. Looking to add to his score here. Early attack that's counter-attacked by the Myanmar fighter who goes for a head shot. They're blocking one another's efforts constantly here. But they I'm both proving to be good at the counter here. No issues, thankfully, this fight with the scoring equipment or the sensors in the scoring equipment. Attempt to connect with the midriff again. This one a high flying kick, but no. No purchase on his opponent. Did he clip the head here? So a cheer goes round as a three point kick is registered. Just clip the head here, and now with a good push kick to the midriff as well, registers another two and suddenly finds himself in a very handy lead. 12 to 1, just keeping his opponent at bay here, using that reach advantage nicely. Just found a couple of chinks in the proverbial armor here. As he found the literal padded armor. Another big blow to the midriff. Just cutting the uh, attempt out. Using the arm as a blocking mechanism. No more fighter. Just correcting the socks that have sensors in them. Big over the top, good combination, flurry of kicks and punches. Countering each other's attacks with attack. 
not engaging constantly. The shape of the mat has been changed deliberately in recent times to encourage further fighting. So a penalty point awarded here at the end of this second round. Malzolintet came back with four late points in the round. It was Volko Kwong who got off to a real flurry. A combination of points that saw a strike to the head, a kick to the trunk, and then almost immediately after, followed it up with another kick to the trunk. And it was up 12 to 1 before his opponent knew much about it. That just brushed the head of his opponent. An immediate score of three, and then followed it up with a two-pointer, and then another blow. Referee just asking the Vietnamese coach to wipe the moisture from the protective armor of the Vietnamese fighter, Phong Co Kong. He's having no problems trying to dispatch of his Myanmar opponent. Third and final round of this first semi-final in the men's under 54 kilogram weight class. And these two now leaving nothing to chance, trying to go for the big scores, taking turns and trying to have a go at one another. Both a little predictable, good anticipation. But leaving the fighting octagon, crossing the boundary rope. Penalty point awarded to the Vietnamese fighter vote. And another penalty point is coming here. After a score. The 54 kilogram division. On the rip of the uh, shoulder of the Myanmar athlete. A lead of 12 following that penalty point. Kong. He's just consistently building on was that very solid scoring flurry in the second round and then to start the third round as well with a couple of scores his opponent down again well the end of about 18 to 5 to Mo Kho Kong of Vietnam Is on to the final. Solid scoring blows, and while there wasn't complete dominance, he did have good scoring runs. We found an opportunity to break through the defences of his less experienced opponent.
Lancer trying to roll up the tie support. There has got to be a uh, fair bit of pressing and dominance from the tie fighter because he's up against the defending champion from Indonesia. Rinaldi Atmanagara of Indonesia, the defending champion in the men's under 54 kilogram weight class and already a fine victory in the Mingwe of Singapore in the quarterfinals. Play card being handed to the Tomei coach. Should he wish to request a video replay at any stage, he may do so by playing the card. In the wrong, Thailand. And the fighters very respectful, bowing to the judges. The referee has them testing the equipment, the padding, the sensors. <laughs> Second semi-final of the Men's under 54 kilogram fight. Ram Narong. Oh, brilliant already from uh, Manangara and Sankiwa Hari of uh, Thailand. Already showing great athleticism here. And the Thai fighter. Sai. Trying to outdo his more illustrious opponent. This is uh, some really good tactics from the Thai fighter trying to take the contest to the defending champion who comes with his reputation very athletic both these fighters expect a few roundhouse kicks expect a few spinning kicks as well to on the head or at least attempts holding on to his side trying to find a score doesn't find too much power behind that kick needed to cut out another big spinning kick to the body by his Thai opponent this is very good fighting from the 20 year old Thai Suddenly, back to back points for the Indonesian. As he found a few gaps in the Thai defense. Good spinning kick, and he gets the score. In the wrong. Sai six. Great intensity in this fight, good full press. A little bit of fainting going on, a few moments to rest for both fighters, sizing up their opponents, trying to use their strength in garnering points. With the tie fighter, on the wrong side, with a few fantastic spinning scoring plays.
trying to score using spinning techniques. Spin away from your opponent's blow and go in for your own score. A couple of connections to the head as well and a few close calls, particularly for Ramnarong Sawikari. His opponent outside of the boundary rope. Penalty point deduction. Big score to the midriff and then followed that up immediately with another score. So both are dangerous. Indonesia's Rinaldi Tmangara fighting in the blue up against Thailand's Ramnarong Sari Kwekai Hari of uh, the Thai fighter going in the red. He currently leads 9-6 to six after the opening round, the early stages of this second round. Oh, off his feet. Completely, got it completely wrong. Shares a wild smile, penalty point to his opponent. The right idea. Score from the Indonesian now. Trying to go for the head. Just misses out. Not far away from brushing. That's a big score on the counter for Thai fighter. Connects with the padding. Just only desperately trying to stay inside the octagon here the Indonesian fighter at Managara who's trying to dictate terms from the edge but he's again had a score against him oh big connection just pulled that left leg up but swung it around couldn't find the score with the foot though this touch with the inside of the leg this fails to score good block by at Managara He's in danger of losing out. It's another score. Two-pointer. It's coming on the counter here. And claims it. Opponent down again at Managara. The defending champion is looking far from his classy best. And another penalty point awarded to his opponent. A ten-point advantage to the Thai fighter. Going for the head now, he's doing nothing more than go for the head. Trying to get a couple of uh, points that'll take this bout away from his opponent. That last strike had encountered, but a penalty point regardless. That was another a diffed little uh, left foot up, so scores with a very sneaky left footed kick to the head. Not oh, a powerful contact, but they all count, and suddenly. Ramnarong Sawe Kwekari is it a 15 point lead. And the Indonesian finds himself completely down and out. about to get underway the men's under 54 kilogram category the Indonesian defending champion in danger of going out here he's 15 points behind his Thai opponent so a little more intensity required from the defending champion that is a big play good spinning kick 
claimed. Oh, brilliant again. Just the athleticism from both opponents is proving to be thoroughly entertaining. It's a penalty point, though, is the kick missed. Point awarded to. Sorry, quick, Eddie. Stretching out a significant advantage here, looking to win on points gap against the defending champion. 29 plays 10. At some international championships, this would have been stopped on points gap. Sometimes after 12. The points gap is large enough if it's beyond the second round. And 31 to 10. And this part is all but over. Manigara is going to have to settle for the bronze medal here. Both losing semi-finalists gain a bronze medal. And that's 32 points to 10 now. The Indonesian camp has uh, asked for a video replay. The coach requesting a video replay here. Perhaps feels that his fighter's technique hasn't been scored. The panel will have a look at video replay and either will hold the appeal or deny it. Denied 32 10. Time fighter Ramnarong Sorry, quick Ari. Looking good for the victory here. Leads by 22. Well, inside the final minute of this contest. This has been a completely lopsided affair. It's been a very good year so far for. Sorry, Kikari. Bronze at the 2017 World Championships. He lost in the semi finals. Oh! And these two almost uh, getting involved in a fight of another sort. Penalty point to his opponent. So, Manigara gets a late point on here, but 23 points down with only a handful of seconds remaining in the bout. Gold of the US Open, Silvers at the Dutch and Belgian Opens as well for the Thai fighter. Although he was out of the contest very early on at the University Championships earlier this year. Failed in the very early stages after just the second round. But the gold medalist of 2015 bows out by a significant margin. 34 to 11. Sawe Krikari of Thailand is into the final of the men's under 54 kilogram Kirugi. And he'll face the Vietnamese fighter Vok Quoc Hung in the later bout.
judges at the positions ahead of the start of this bout. Malaysia taking on Indonesia in the women's under 53 kilogram weight class. the defending champion of Indonesia fights in the blue for this first of the women's under 53 kilogram semi-finals Support. I'm excited about the prospect of uh, Jasmine Nabila Binti Sukardi taking on Mariska Halinda of Indonesia. It's under 53 kilogram division, the Bantam weights. Test before the bout gets underway. As the fighter in blue actually claimed a win. The Malaysians will be particularly pleased if that proves to be true in this bout. As the home favourite goes in the red against the defending champion in the blue. It looks to be a good, solid strikeout. Just a little block with the arm, just cutting out her opponent here. Again, just. Uh, Getting enough behind it to prevent the blow from registering. It's taking a while to suss one another out. Not an overly aggressive approach from either one of these fighters. Oh, that looked to be a blow to the head. It's uh, Well, there's been a count 
and uh, video replay here has been called. Now it looks to be a clean blow to the head. The, the referee has seen it. He's called it. There's no register that it was a, a kick to the head. So the timeout here while the video replay takes place. It looked like Mariska Halinda got in a decent effort on Sukadi's head. The count came in. Eight count. So three points have been awarded. It was a successful kick to the head. And a successful appeal from the Indonesian camp. So first from the scoreboard with a fine kick to the head. Good block from Nini. Well, I thought it was a good block, but she's uh, been penalized a point here by the referee. So the Malaysian is on the score sheet with uh, a penalty point. And now, fighting with a little more confidence, if not entirely focused, is the Malaysian. So currently in red, Malaysia. Defending champion of Indonesia in blue. The intensity slacks off a little bit. The Indonesian scoring with that last left footed blow to the trunk. Five plays one. Just trying to watch for the reach. So the end of this opening round, first round of three. And the first of the semi-finals, the women's under 53 kilogram weight class. Under 53 kilogram semi final number one. Mariska Halinda trying with a little uh, reverse spinning kick to score, to start the scoring in the third round. Spotted Sukardi's attempt to clip her on the side of the head with a little kick and manages to block the effort. So, still no score from either one of these fighters in this second round. 30 seconds gone of the second round. There are three rounds of two minutes each. You know, punch your competitors in the head, but you can't kick them in the head like that from the Indonesian. So another two points. Seven to one. She adds to the tally from the opening round. Fine attempt to put in a spinning kick to the body armor of the Indonesian. Unsuccessful ultimately by Sugardi. Now, just trying to register uh, a kick to the head of her own after receiving one. She currently can't do so. So the second round dominance continues. And Mariska Halinda. One victory at the World Championships earlier this year, but lost on Golden Point in her second bout of the World Championships has struggled but did claim the Indonesian Open the uh, Kazakhstan Open rather for Indonesia just a time out here oh, the judges are consulting a replay call but one of the judges seems to have spotted something and will have uh, a say and indeed the video replay card is 
Martin played by the Indonesian camp again. They were successful with their first video replay call. So if you have a successful video replay, you get your card back. You have it for one successful or one appeal. If it's successful, you get it back for another appeal. This is unsuccessful, so no more appeals from the Indonesian camp. The referee just tucking the video replay card of the Indonesian coach in her back pocket. So, Mariska Halinda of Indonesia leads 11 to 4. It's the home favourite, Jasmine Nabila Binti Sukardi of Malaysia. 20 seconds to go in the second round. And scoring play here. Final few seconds of the second round. Trying to find a score, a little spinning effort by Sukardi. And that'll be the end of the round. The Malaysian will need to fight back from seven points down at the end of the second if she is to advance. Uh, for the Indonesian, looking fairly comfortable currently. Great spinning effort to register a score. Final round of this women's under 53 kilogram semi final of the Taekwondo. So, Kadi trying with a spinning kick, she's put herself on the mat. So, a penalty point awarded to the Indonesian up to 12 now. 12 plays four. No, just touching onto her foot, maybe her ankle. She'll be okay, needs to continue. Oh, another spinning kick from the defending champion. Doesn't find the score though. <laughs> the referee encouraging the two fighters to make a little bit of contact. Can be penalised if there's no contact for some time. Generally within 10 seconds. Ken Sukardi just trying with that spinning kick. Looking to register a blow to the trunk. It's generally been blocked by Halinda. She's a top class fighter and despite her failure at the World Championships, where she lost out to uh, Rada Abdelkader Reda of Egypt on a golden point. Still finds herself having claimed a fairly successful year. With a highlight, the gold in the Kazakhstan Open. So 15 to 4. 20 seconds remain in this third round. And I dare say we're going to see the defending champion proudly marched on to the final. And continually trying a few spinning kicks. Well, she's put herself on the mat, which is an automatic additional penalty point for her opponent. But that is the end of this bout. And indeed, victorious is Mariska Helinda. So she marches on to the final where last year she beat Luisa de Santos Rosa of Timor Leste in the final. The women's under 53 kilogram Kirugi Mariska Helinda of Indonesia in the final to defend her gold medal.
work on the Newport Convention Centre. And uh, I believe the fans on this side are a little quiet today. So I need you all to make more noise as we have Thailand against Vietnam in the next match. Okay, so we're going to have this battle, alright? When I say Thailand, I'm going to hear you all scream, alright? It's the final of the women's under 46 kilogram weight class. Julana Kantikulanon of Thailand. Takes on Vietnam's Trung Thi Kim Duyen, the defending champion. Test being completed. So the final of the women's under 46 kilogram weight class, Chulanan Kantikulanan of Thailand. Very impressive in her semi final victory over Dian Titania Fazrin. Taking on the defending champion, Truong Thi Kim Tuyen of Vietnam. The defending champion, Kazakhstan Open champion earlier this season. Silver at the 2017 World Championships in this weight category. And the Vietnamese fighter first on the scoreboard, coached by Vu Antoine and Korean Kim Kil Tai. Taekwondo. Uh, sport that originated in Korea and certainly 
continued in his career to dominate world taekwondo or the champions have come from all around the world in various international competitions it remains the national martial art of korea as uh, taekwondo really has grown in popularity around the world as Dante Kulanon is now struck back with a scoring play of her own. Looking for another blow to the body armor. Oh. The referee just asking the Japanese fighter, the defending champion, to secure the loose strap. So immediately after, and strike to the protective gear, the Hogu of defending champion and Shanti Kulanon Shanti Kulanon who was so impressive in that win over Fanzarin of Indonesia looking confident here against the defending champion not being intimidated at all has taken her own came to her opponent she's looked very fleet of foot she's claiming a score that is not credited Final seconds of this opening round. Trying to find the uh, final kick of the opening round. It's not going to happen. The Thai fighter leads going into the second round. Kanti Kulanon, four to two. Throwing. from both these opponents relying on speed more than strength they both showed some master classes in defensive strategies and both have been willing to go on the counter attack just trying to avoid her opponent but Trung trying to take the fight to Kante Kulanon silver medalist at the Asian Junior Championships earlier this year so you've got a silver medalist at the Asian Junior Championships taking on Silver medalist at the World Championships earlier this year. At the moment, it's the Asian Junior Championships silver medalist who is leading. Still early days yet. Only in the second round. Trung of Vietnam favoured for the gold medal. The title that she claimed in 2015 in Singapore two years ago. A powerful kick coming in, just trying to register the blow, but again cut out by her opponent. She tries to score herself, but at the moment it's more the cutting and countering by the Thai fighter who is not really taking the chances and the risks and going with the full pressing that at times Trung is trying to do, throw at her opponent. Going for a big punch to the chest. Good. Big left-handed uh, punch scores for the Thai fighter. Dante Kulanon. Good left-handed blow. So five to two. Leads by three. It's not a comfortable advantage, but it's an advantage nonetheless. Even having her foot taken out from under her, but maintained her balance. A penalty point awarded to Dante Kulanon for opponent holding on to her final seconds of the second round is there a score to come oh, the enemy's fighter just being frustrated continually because as she went in for the attack she opened herself up to a counter and again Dante Kulanon just 17 years old is showing some very impressive skill against a world championship silver medalist and the defending champion so just how good a fighter is Dante Kulanon she's Shown her class against Fazrin. She was very patient in that victory. She slowly built into 
her uh, attacks. And again here, she's really not gone full out attack. But she's been the master of countering. Very good defensive strategy. Well, Druong is certainly throwing an offensive strategy at her opponent. A lot of forward footwork, a lot of explosive movements. And some very explosive counter-attacks from Ante Kulanon. See the 17-year-old leading by five as we enter the final round. This is the women's under 46 kilogram final. Ante Kulano of Thailand, just 17 years old. Goes in the blue against Vietnam's defending champion who scores early on. Gets herself back into the range of catching her opponent. One spinning kick to the head and she's back on level terms. So effectively one score away, albeit unlikely. And he's got some great athleticism about her. Can put on some real pressure but the defensive tactics continue from the Thai fighter who's in the lead and doesn't need to take unnecessary risks he's happy to stick to her own game fighting as a southpaw but has claimed the three-pointer there with that brush against the head of her opponent tries to block by keeping her knee up just missed out on that attempted kick to the head did uh, Trump not too many penalties awarded in this fight and trying to go for the high scoring here into Kulanot as Truong goes for a full out attack and scores with a punch to the chest so a lead of just four well into the final minute here just wrapping a leg around her opponent is just trying to hold on to this advantage just staying involved in the fight as long as she can but there's another three-pointer who was uh, registered for that kick to the back of the head a moment ago but a penalty point awarded to the Thai fighter she's too clear final seconds of this final Antikulanon against the defending champion. Well, she registers a two-pointer and then immediately concedes three. With four seconds remaining. So, went in front by four, then conceded three. Just needs to hold on here. One score could win it for the Vietnamese fighter. So the score... Not to be a scoring strike of one for Conte Kulanon, but Truong has found a score of her own, and now the coaches are watching on. They're desperately trying to decide for whether or not there is a merit in an appeal or a video replay call. Both camps still have the opportunity of uh, video replay. Here is the uh, video replay card from the Vietnamese coach. Now he's feeling that there should be a penalty point awarded to his fighter, it seems, from the gesticulation for pushing on the opponent. With under three seconds remaining in this final, they're separated currently by one point. If this appeal is upheld, the defending champion will be on level terms with the 17-year-old Kanti Kulanon. And we might be in store for a uh, golden point. Let's see if the decision is upheld. No, it is not. So... point for pushing in fact the point has been uh, taken away 
Oh. Conte Cullinan could have claimed uh, an initial strike to the face as well. It looked like she made contact with the head. All sorts of uh, video replays are being reviewed by the judges here. So as it stands, the tie fighter remains in front. The question is over a penalty point. Well, we've seen fight stop with less than a second to go and fighter trailing fighters just trying to avoid kicks or contact in the final seconds of the match taking uh, an inordinate amount of time. No replays that have been requested. It's the Vietnam camp who's requested the video replay. Reviewed by the judge. I'm critical at the moment, he's just getting different angles, perhaps details. be viewed from various perspectives. Even if the appeal is denied, 2.82 seconds to go in this fight. You might recall in the, uh, the men's under 80 kilogram gold medal bout at the Olympic Games, so famously Great Britain's Lutalo Mohammed was leading by two points from uh, Ivorian fighter Sheikh Salah Sisse, one second remaining in that fight when the clock got back underway and Sisse produced a fantastic effort, caught his opponent on the head in the final second as the clock restarted and claimed the gold medal for that three points, could have won his first ever gold medal. This is not over for the Vietnam camp just yet. As the appeal is still being reviewed, the athletes won't like standing around for quite as long as they have. The instantaneous replays were introduced to try to speed things up and get decisions correct. Well, it's improved the decisions. The appeal is successful here by the Vietnam camp. So he gets his video replay card back, but he just waits for the uh, call. So no penalty point. No. Final seconds. Trying to hold on. Just timeout's been called all the fighters were uh, going to get back into the bout there's all sorts of distractions for the fighters who need to shut everything out the Vietnam coach has been screaming instructions now or screaming he wants the scoreboard reset going for the kick oh was there a connection to the back of the head well the clock is up it's been given to Kanti Kulanon, who did manage to register a late score in this fight. Well, a very, very proud 17-year-old. Silver medalist at the Asian Junior Championships in Kazakhstan earlier this year. She's now a gold medalist at the SEA Games. And that a brilliant fight. Tactically, she fought a very offensive fight. And goes to pay her respect to opposing coach. Just getting out of the way of a few 
potentially decisive blows. She scrambled well. Her defense was superb throughout much of it. She was caught with that one. And she had a few of her own that proved to be just too good. Despite the length of the video replay that was requested, in the end it was a successful gold medal bout for Thailand. Fighting in the blue from Vietnam. Fighting in the red for Thailand. A man that is already on his way to the final defeated the defending champion. Narong Sawe Kwekari. Hardware test. And certainly from the Thai fighter, bronze medalist at the recent world championships. And the wrong Sawi Kwekari fights in the red against the Vietnamese fighter Bo Ko Kong in the blue. The final of the men's under 54 kilogram Kurogi. Some powerful blows, but uh, the defensive tactics so far proving successful. 
wireless scoring system has proved less than successful at these championships. So at the World Championships, it was Hong uh, Kong who was uh, trying to get himself into at least semi-final position. He lost in the quarterfinals to Mexican Cesar Roman Rodriguez. Good victories, particularly in the opening round over Daniel Chivetta of Germany. Still no score for either one of these combatants. Well, there'll be penalty point awarded here. The Vietnamese fighter is first on the scoreboard. The penalty point. Run along Sawi Kwikari. He came within two points of claiming gold at the World Championships in this under 54 kilogram weight class. Trying to evade the kick and off his feet. The video replay card has been requested by the Vietnamese camp. Penalty point should have been awarded to. Uh, Vo Quoc Hung is the call, as I saw it as well. In the end, it was uh, awarded to his opponent for pushing. Stay warm, stay limber. Oh, the appeal has been upheld. So the video replay card goes back to the coach and the points will be reversed. So one point deducted from the Thai fighter and indeed Phu Quoc Hong of Vietnam is on the scoreboard. Flurry of uh, spinning kicks from the Thai fighter. Not managing to get beyond the defense of one another, not in the early stages, although that's a scoring kick. Left footed attempt, and now with a furious attempt to find another scoring blow, leaves himself exposed, and a counter attack from the enemy's fighter takes him in front again before another successful blow to the midriff from Tawe Kwikari, who is now in front, 4-3. to three. A little more intensity from both these fighters. And at the end of the opening round, so some intensity in the closing stages. Rum Narong Tawe Kwikari, a very confident young man. Just trying to maintain the balance. Plenty of explosive movements, a lot of round house kicks being attempted by both fighters. They have their strategies. And then late on in the bout, it was all about offensive combinations. That was the uh, controversial moment. But in the final 30 seconds, a flurry of Combinations, kicks and punches. After a relatively economical approach and good defensive strategy from both fighters.
start of the second round in the under 54 kilogram final for men. This Kyurugi competition of the Taekwondo which continues the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center, hall number one. Spinning attempt easily blocked by his opponent. Oh, one is snuck through for the score. There's plenty of power coming from the Thai fighter though. Sami Pikari putting a lot of force behind every blow. So even though they're being cut out by his opponent, some are still managing to register. I like that last one. Great speed and explosive speed as well. The reach advantage for the Vietnamese youngster. But the power is definitely with Thai fighter. Oh, well, he won't score for the latter of those attempts. But a penalty point being awarded to his opponent. He's now four clear. Close quarter combat this could prove dangerous. This is what Rong Rong Sawi Kwikari likes. Or Kok Hong. Needing to find a way to get himself back into this final after being well within the fight in the early stages. Trying to score with a, a flip up and a attempt to catch the side of his opponent's head. Another penalty point has been awarded this time against the Thai fighter Sawi Kwikari. Looks like we are going to have another video replay. So the Thai fighter has handed his video replay card to the referee. Seems he is making a call. Not for video replay. Just for the awarding of the penalty point, hoping that there was a scoring play in his fight his build up perhaps. Unsuccessful. Score remains in the final seconds of the second round. So we quick got it. Seven to four over his opponent. Oh, was there contact? Was he just snapping his head back, trying to get out of the way? And certainly, Vokok Hung going for the head of his opponent twice in the closing stages of the second round. Exposing himself and again falling victim to the blow to the midriff, which takes him five down at the end of the second round. That's some real power. Oh, the block came in. Enough power to sneak through and find the score. Vo unable to land any of those attempts at his opponent's head. And another score. With a flat foot on the spin for Ramnarong Sabikwikari. the competitions there are eight weight divisions that are contested at the Olympic Games there are only four there are five at the Southeast Asia Games that's the men's under 54 kilogram final third and final round two minutes 
for one of these fighters to confirm their status as champion of the Southeast Asia Games of 2017. Thailand's Umarong Sawi Kwikari. Currently in pole position. And there's another score very early on. Season go 11 4 in front. Oh, some more power. Good little spin around the front. And again, looking to strike the midriff of his opponent. Straight into the protective armor. Scores with another kick. And again. So 15 to 4. Suddenly he's extended his advantage. On a further six and he's nine clear now oh, almost taunting his opponents scores again bit of a showman plays to the crowd just a little he's all struggling against the man that eliminated the defending champion in the semi-finals and the man who made the semi-finals of the world championships just to add to his impressive collection of medals. Trying to go with a punch to the chest. Scores sufficient force in that big punch. Well now just conserving a little energy threatening to go eventually makes a little forceful press it doesn't need to worry his tactics have been spot on big hard press at stages and then sitting back and avoiding kicks of his tiring opponent these two fully padded competitors oh trying to go for that special play the four-point score in the closing stages of this third round it's not going to be a connection but it is a fine victory for the Thai fighter, a fairly convincing one as well. 18 to 6 for Ramnarong Sawe Kwikari over Ho Kok Hong. Spoils the Vietnamese youngster's 20th birthday. And Sawe Kwikari of Thailand. Convincing and victorious. Fighting in the red while he didn't have the reach advantage. Explosive in his attacking forays the fence was on point very forceful as well so we'll receive the gold medal in a short while
Jessica Helinda, the Indonesian defending champion in the final again and looking to claim another gold medal and take on the Philippines opponent in the women's under 53 kilogram final testing the hardware and the sensors are working Aragon Rezi Kanama of Philippines taking on Mariska Alida. No scores yet in the early stages, little patience from both fighters. from the Indonesian, Melinda. She wanted to get into her own fight, but that uh, three-pointer, just a little brush of her opponent's head. She'll take some confidence on the score sheet, on the scoreboard. These two squaring off. They're quite happy to use kicks rather than going with punches, but Helinda, she can produce that uh, combination. Punches to the chest, kicks to the head. Better from Aragon Rezi Kanamo of the Philippines just snuck through and uh, scored with her own kick to the head. 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds now in the opening round, still only the two headshots. Kick from each of these opponents. They're again going for kick to the head. So the opening round concludes with only two scoring plays. No penalty points. In this women's under 53 kilogram final. There's an Aragon Kanama. Competes internationally at under, uh, under 49 kilogram weight class. pushes from both these fighters just a little switch from one side to the other from Indonesian defending champion Helinda trying to open up her opponent forceful with the kicks but they're not really scoring she did sneak one through that last effort so here's the first score of this second round it's far from being a runaway victory in this final. Gold at the 2015 SEA Games. Gold in the Kazakhstan Open earlier this year for Halinda. He's 20 years old is Kanama. Taller of the two athletes, but not by much. 
Well, there's not a great deal of imagination in either one of the tactics and neither is being overly aggressive. And both are concentrating on their own strategy and their own tactic, clearly. Certainly lacking in imagination. Final 10 seconds of this second round. Still 5-3, to three. only one scoring play in this second round. That for the Indonesian, a two-pointer kick to the midriff. And uh, for the low blow, a penalty point conceded to her opponent, 6-3, to three. end of the second round. Third and final round of this women's under 53 kilogram final in the Kyurugi. The combat element of Taekwondo. And the red Mariska Halinda of Indonesia, the defending champion against Philippines challenger Aragon in blue. No scoring just yet in this second half. And this uh, second. The third round. And in the third round, these two still sticking to the same strategy of trying to go with forceful body blows and kicks. So one penalty point has been conceded here, and it looks like the uh, Indonesian camp is going to order a video replay against this call. So the a replay card is going to be presented to the Taekwondo judge who will watch this video replay. We're pushing going on. Just stepping out of the the uh, boundary line over the boundary line it's a good pressure from the Philippines fighter and indeed she keeps that penalty point as the appeal is denied so only two points in it and a score here could see oh is that a clip on the head it's not going to count if we call the break one point deducted one penalty point awarded and that sneaks through so that's a two pointer for the defending champion Helinda is now five in front with a minute to go in the third round in this women's final. Competitors trying to score. The basic attack to the trunk scores one, two points for a kick that includes a spinning technique to obtain three points. A kick's got to land on an opponent's head, but if you want to score the maximum four points, then you need to do so by making contact with the head with a spinning kick. I'm just asking for a quick uh, timeout. These special pads that are worn, there are socks with sensors in them. You can register the kicks that uh, make any contact with the sensors and the headgear of the opponents. So both just correcting their socks. 30 seconds of this final remains now, and it is Helinda of Indonesia 
who leads by five. Good pressure here from the Philippines. He's not expending, not leaving uh, anything to chance. Desperately trying to find a scoring play. She might leave herself exposed for the counter-attack, but she's going to lose if she doesn't go on the attack. She knows it. She's going to need a couple of big scoring plays in quick succession here if she's to stand any chance of getting herself into that gold medal position. The defending champion, though, doing enough to hold on in the closing stages and rounds out the victory. Gold in 2015, gold in 17 for Mariska Halinda of Indonesia. 23 year old successfully defends her title against the Philippines fighter Aragon plenty pressure not much imagination as I mentioned but certainly plenty force from both fighters only really in the last fight that the Philippines competitor tried to force the issue going in for the bigger scores couldn't make contact just couldn't find what she needed in the closing stages and gold medal going the way of Indonesia
para pedirse calentar, en la escala de forma de calentar una luca, y a amar por forma, a conocer y contar a la vida de la vida, y a la vida de la vida de Malaysia, bersama-sama yang berhormat Datuk Seri Ismail Sabri Yaakob Menteri Luar Padang dan Wilayah Terima kasih Terima kasih Terima kasih Terima kasih Terima kasih Give me a round of applause Lord Minister Ladies and Gentlemen Terima kasih Terima kasih Terima kasih Thank you ladies and gentlemen Christopher, 22. 
please come forward here. All the medal winners, please do come behind here. Behind where I'm talking. Please.
Bagi Sukan Taekwondo Kyoruki Ladies and gentlemen Welcome to the victory ceremony Of Taekwondo Kyoruki And please welcome To the podium The medalists Ladies and gentlemen The medals will be presented by For the category Male Open Fit Under 54 And it will be presented by This is the victory ceremony for the men's under 54 kilogram Kyurogi. ceremony we'll see two bronze medals awarded as in most combat sports the losing silly finalists do not fight off for a third place bronze instead they're both awarded bronze medals Rinaldi Atmanagara of Indonesia who was on the top tier of the podium in 2015 finds himself collecting the bronze medal in 2017 to receive his medal first. He lost out to the eventual champion in the semi finals. Well, Zolin Tet of Myanmar, just 18 years old, proudly collects his bronze medal. medalist Tolin Tet of Myanmar and Indonesia's Rinaldi Atmanagara. Silver medalist on his birthday, Vo Kuok Hung. Well, he fought brilliantly to get to the final in what is a very tightly contested weight class and a silver medal as he made the gold medal bout. But he lost out to the eventual champion the man who beat the defending champion and an aspiring fighter from Vietnam. And the man who's showed some wonderful qualities about his potential in the years ahead. And finishing as a semi-finalist of the World Championships, a bronze medal at the World Championships for Ramnarong Sawi Kwekari of Thailand earlier this year. Gold at the US Open earlier this year as well. Now gold at the SEA Games as well. Watch out for this young man in the future, 20 years old, 
from the wrong so we quick carry we the finals of the Dutch and Belgian Opens gold at the US Open wrongs at the World Championships now gold at the Southeast Asia Games of Kuala Lumpur 2017 gold to Thailand silver to Vietnam and sharing bronze Indonesia and Myanmar This is the victory ceremony for the women's under 46 kilogram weight class.
two bronze medalists. First to receive her bronze medal from Timor Leste, Sonia Martin Suarez, just 19 years old. Struggled to try to beat her uh, opponent, the runner up in her semi final. Dian Titania Fazrin of Indonesia, though. Also 19, collecting the bronze medals for the women's under 46 kilogram Kurogi as losing semi finalists. In a very, very closely contested final bout, Trong Thi Kim Tien of Vietnam, 20 year old who was defending champion in the women's under 46 kilogram weight classification found herself only just losing out and effectively in the dying seconds it came down to video replays being requested with just seconds remaining in the third round but silver medal from Vietnam for the defending champion unseating the 2015 champion is somebody who surely has a bright future ahead of her a silver medalist at the Asian Junior Championships in Kazakhstan earlier this year. She made the final and claimed the gold medal here at the 2017 Southeast Asia Games. Yulanan Kanti Kulanon at 17 is champion of the SEA Games for the first time in this women's under 46 kilogram weight classification. But expect further success from this promising youngster. Somebody who beat not only the defending champion, but somebody who claimed silver at the World Championships earlier this year. Splendid win, Thailand gold. Of Thailand. then of the medalists bronze to Timor Leste in Indonesia the world championship silver medalist gets a sea game silver medal can't defend her title but Kanti Kulan on it 17 is champion for Thailand Prospect for the future. 17 years old, the Thai fans have stayed around for the victory ceremonies. And surprisingly, with the success of the Thai fighters in the second day action of the Kyrie competition.
victory ceremony of the women's under 53 kilogram classification. Only three fighters entered for this weight category. Eventual champion in the semi final, Kasman Nabila Binti Sukardi, 20 year old from Malaysia, claims the bronze medal. It's under Rizi Aragon, but uh, Aragon Rizi Kanama. She's registered for the 2017 SEA Games, losing out in the final to the vastly more experienced Mariska, the leader of Indonesia. But Philippines have a silver medal, courtesy of Aragon. To our gold medalist and SEA Games champion from Indonesia. Mariska Halida. Two fights, two wins. Mariska Halida defends the title she won in 2015. Gold in the women's under 53 kilogram weight classification or the bantamweight division. Adding to her many successes this season already, including gold at the Kazakhstan Open. And now for the national anthem of Indonesia. The gold medalist from Indonesia, Mariska Halida, claims the gold medal again after winning it in Singapore. And confirmation then of the medalists, Malaysia, claiming the bronze through Nabila Sukardi, Aragon of Philippines has silver, and Mariska Halinda 
gold for Indonesia. of the morning a nation is rising and we see the fight here at the edge of the morning the shadows are fading and I see the light Just like a river, tradition runs deep and the future's unclear. As the whole world is watching, voices are singing, does anyone hear? 